I am a teacher, a speech therapist, sir. I literally have to urinate in a cup. Today we're going to be taking a look at the living embodiment of trashiness. Now we've seen quite a few trashy moms on the channel in the past, but this mom we're about to take a look at may just take the cake as the most trashy and repulsive I've seen. Woman is upset that she was asked to leave Disneyland after peeing in public, justifies it by saying she is a speech therapist. Yeah, and I feel like this doesn't need any more of an introduction, so without further ado, let's take a look. Because I have a bad bladder. I don't think you understand what women's bladders are all about, but I really have a bad bladder. Okay. And there's no reason for you to justify me or judge me. I am not judging you, ma'am. You are, sir. No, I'm not. Calm. I'm not judging you. Can I'm you here please to see your manager? Because it's I am okay. the manager. Somebody I hire up, sir. What? Why am I not surprised to hear that she's asking for the manager? Or not even the manager, somebody higher up, which I don't know who exactly she wants to speak to at Disney. Is she looking to talk to Mickey Mouse himself? This lady is definitely giving off some serious Karen vibes. You were just caught peeing in a cup in the middle of Disney, yet you somehow still have the audacity to ask for the manager. What could you possibly be complaining about as well? Oh yeah, your security told me I can't pee in this cup at your park. This is unacceptable. I didn't know having a bladder condition automatically means you could pee wherever the hell you want at any time. Overall, a very typical entitled Karen so far with pretty much no self-awareness. I okay? am the manager. Somebody I hire up, sir. What? I'm asking you to leave property for your actions and behavior. Not a problem, Tom. But I needed a urinate. And I needed a pee on my- There's been times where I have to hold a cup for my job, Tom. I am a, I am a teacher, a speech therapist, sir. I literally have to urinate in a cup. What does you being a teacher or speech therapist have anything to do with peeing in a cup in public? There's absolutely no correlation there. I don't know how she thought saying her job would somehow just excuse her from public urination. Also, I don't know if you're going to be keeping that teaching job for any longer since this has over a million views on TikTok now. I mean, I don't know if a school would want one of their teachers peeing in a cup in public, not to mention at a place that is filled with kids every Everywhere, especially if you're a teacher, a job where you're surrounded by kids. I'm pretty sure peeing in public could also make you a registered sex offender, if I'm not mistaken, so I don't know if that job is going to be available for much longer. Because I don't have time to go to South Central on Slauson and Crenshaw to urinate, sir. I cannot believe you're judging me. I'm not judging you. No problem. It's okay. I will leave, but I'm telling my family member what's happening here. Okay. And they can meet me at the parking lot okay. because there is a commute time. Okay. It's literally an hour to drive to the valley, Tom. Okay, what? Okay, what? It sounds like you're just, just saying okay, but I need a manager. Okay, I went talk. to Alani to Hawaii in April, Tom. For a speech therapist, I can't understand a single thing she's saying. She is quite literally just speaking nonsense at this point. Probably some sort of Karen dialect we hear in Karen videos every now and then. It's amazing just how delusional some people and Karens could be. Being simply asked to leave Disney is probably the best possible thing that could have happened to this Karen, but she still somehow interprets that as the security security guard judging her. With all this time she spent blabbering on, this lady could have just went to the bathroom by now like a normal person. I went to Alani to Hawaii in April, Tom. I paid for your paycheck, sir. Everybody else is here. Just so you know, I'm not a like freeloader. I never said that. I'm just putting it out there. So I'll give you time to discuss the parking arrangement. Thank you, sir. Unfortunately, I can't get I the will, I will leave. No, thank you, Tom. 
Leave it to a Karen to say that she pays their salary and somehow still think she's in the right here. Now, I know this is cliche to say, but just imagine if a guy did this. A fully grown adult man. I feel like this situation would have been handled in a completely different way. There's no way the security would be as calm as they are here. The man would be pinned down, handcuffed, and arrested on the spot. Rightfully so. If you're pissing in a cup in public, especially at a place like Disneyland full of kids, you need to be arrested immediately and banned. My five-year-old doesn't want to listen in school where he makes disruptive noises. Doesn't listen. Thinks that he doesn't need to settle down when he comes from the playground. We're gonna run. And we're gonna run at 104 degrees. <laughs> First time we're gonna run for his sad faces that he gets at school and he thought we were just gonna run to the mailbox so he took off running sprinting now he's dying we're gonna behave in school we're not gonna hit we're not gonna spank we're gonna discipline we'll see what tomorrow brings you're not gonna hit or spank, but still abuse your five-year-old son. Imagine making your five-year-old run in 104 degree weather because he's being disruptive and doesn't listen well in class. As if no other five-year-old on the planet has ever acted that way before. Now, I don't disagree with punishing your kids, but running in 104 degree weather is borderline abuse at that point. This video is a CPS speed run for this mom. If she does this, if he's simply being disruptive what other punishments is she doing now at the end of the day this isn't the worst thing in the world but why not just take away your son's video games or something instead of practically abusing him for tiktok views unreal but anyways i think that's gonna wrap up today's video thanks for watching drop a like if you enjoyed the video stay tuned for some more juicy videos coming soon to the channel and until then stay sexy peace